सदाशिव समाधि हम शंकराचार्य मध्यम स्मदाचार्य पर्यता वंदे गुरु परंपरा शुद्धि स्मृति पुराणी करुणाली नमा भगवत्द शंकर लोकशंकर शंकर शंकराचार्य केशव बाधरायण सूत्र भाष्यत वंदे भगवत पुनः पुनः ईश्वरो गुरुरात्मी मूर्ति भेद विभागिने व्याप्तहाय दक्षिणमूर्त नम ओं सहनावत सहन भुनक्त सह वीर करवाहे तेजस्वीनावतीमस्तुमाशावे ये ओं शांच शांच शांति ब्रह्मण विभातिपूर्व वेदागुश्च प्रणुति स्म तरुण हृदय आत्मबुद्धि प्रकाश मुक्षुवै शरणमहम प्रपद्ये ओं शांच शांच शांति आदिमध्यांतवर्जित आनंदघन आपूर्ण आत्मज्योतिरुपास्मे वन थ्री फोर्टी वन दिस सूत्र इज इंट्रोड्यूस्ड बाय दि वृत्तिकार सिंह यथा पूर्व उपक्रम वशाद अर्थातरे प्रसिद्ध ज्योतिषश स्वार्था प्रत्यात तथा सो इन दि अर्लियर सूत्र ज्योतिर्दर्शना वन थ्री फोर्टी वॉट वॉज डन वॉज दि ज्योतिष शब्द हेड अ प्रसिद्ध अर्थ विच वॉज नोन टू बोथ दि पूर्व पक्षी एंड सिद्धांति हेज अ प्रति प्रसिद्ध अर्थ एज प्रकाश सो दैट मीनिंग वॉज नॉट टेकन इन टू अकाउंट इंस्टेड weaning the meaning away from that primary meaning a secondary meaning of brahma was taken based on the context so upakrama was what was the context the upakrama <coughs> the opening statement pratidnya in that section indicated brahma therefore this aditya adi tejah as a meaning for jyoti prakasha as meaning for jyoti hi was not taken as the primary meaning applicable in that section <coughs> so upakrama vashat under the influence of upakrama arthantare prasiddho api jyotish shabda in a different meaning there is a prasiddhi of jyotish shabda prakasha prakasha artha so from that swartha pratyavita the meaning was taken away the that meaning was not applicable shown to be applicable tatha aakasha upakrama vashat sorry i am having some throat irritation give me a moment please <coughs> so the next section in the another section of the sutra the 41st sutra the mantra under consideration should also have a similar analysis says the purva pakshi so tatha akasha upakrama vashad the upakrama in the chandogya shruti that will be quoted in the next sutra there the akasha is the Word used in the upakrama. So akasha upakrama vashad under the influence of that opening statement relating to akasha. Following word Brahma in the vakya shesha of that section, that Brahma word should be reinterpreted. It should not be taken as prasiddha Brahma Paramatma artha, but it should be reinterpreted as what akasha, because the opening statement talks about akasha. so you should treat it similarly says the purva pakshi and reinterpret the meaning of brahma the word brahma as as not the primary meaning but as the secondary meaning which will mean akasha prasiddha akasha tatha akasha upakrama vashat brahma di shabdo api swarthat pratyavyata pratyavyatam it should be reinterpreted from swartha meaning it should be taken away well known meaning prasiddha and reinterpreted based on the context and that context is again upakrama that should have an influence 
iti drushtant sangatya idamaha. Giving a similar example, the Puro Pakshi asks the Siddhanti, what about this mantra? How do you interpret this mantra? Thereby, the Sutrakara creates the next adhikaranam, Arthantara Tvadi Vyapadesha adhikaranam. Arthantara, another meaning. So, Arthantara Adi. And similar such words are there where all analysis is not seen. Although we say, see repeated analysis across some sutras and some mantras, there is some repetition of analysis. Similar analysis is done. But every analysis is not the same. Tatpare nishchaya will not be in the same sequence. Tatpare nishchaya can be in any sequence to land on the meaning that will not contradict any other mantra. Finally, the tatpare of the entire shruti should be in sync with each and every section of the Upanishads. So, so that kind of a teaching, this adhikaran is relating to that kind of analysis, Mimamsa and such teaching. By the Shruti, the such revelation by the Shruti. Akash Vartantaratvadi Vapadeshat. Akash Vartantaratvadi Vapadeshat is the Sutra. Akashaha Arthantaratvadi Vapadeshat. Two words. Arthantaratvadi Vapadeshat is the Samasa. What is Sutra Artha? Akashaha Brahma Paramatma Eva. Why? Arthantaratvadi Vapadeshat. Meaning, Nama Rupa has been discussed in that Chandogya Mantra. And Akasha is said to be what? Akasha is Tasya Nama Rupa Bhyam. Akasha Sya Nama Rupa Bhyam Arthantaratva Yapadesha. There is teaching by the Shruti, revelation by the Shruti that this Akasha in the opening statement also is not Bhuta Akasha. Because it is different from Nama Rupa. Akasha is part of Nama Rupa. Akasha may not have a Rupa, but Akasha has Nama. Akasha is also created. Akasha is one of the Panchamahabhutas and it is all it is not Nitya. It has less guna as compared to other Panchamahabhutas meaning other four Mahabhutas, it does not have Rupa also, it does not have Sparsha also, like Vayu has Sparsha, Agni has Rupa, Agni onwards all have Rupa. So Akasha does not, not only does Akasha have no Rupa, but Akasha also does not have Sparsha, so it has no Guna. That can be objectified easily, so still there is Shabda Guna. Akasha Shabda as its Guna. And this Guna Guni, both are, this Guna Shabda pops up with the Guni coming into being. So this Guni Akasha, Shabda Guni Akasha has been created, be it the first element, but it is still created. Even the Sukshma Akasha is created. Therefore, it is, it is Bhutakasha, which is not the meaning of Akasha in the opening. Why? Because the Puropakshi claiming that Akasha is Bhutakasha will be created Akasha, which will have Nama Rupa and the Akasha which is talked about in the mantra is said to be what? Akasha vai Nama Nama Rupa Yor Nirvahita. It is also the manifester or creator of Nama Rupa, different from Nama Rupa. So that Akasha which is the creator of Bhuta Akasha is different from Akasha, Bhuta Akasha. Therefore the word Akasha in the opening statement itself does not mean Bhuta Akasha. What to reinterpret Brahma Shabda that follows. In fact the Akasha Shabda itself means Brahma in the opening statement says the Siddhanti. So the Sutra Artha is Akasha Brahma Eva. Why? 
तस्य आकाशस्य नाम रूपाभ्याम अर्थांतर इज बींग टॉट अर्थांतर व्यपदेशा आकाशस्य नाम रूपाभ्याम अर्थांतर व्यपदेशा अर्थांतर आदि सो टीचिंग इज दैट दैट आकाश इन दि ओपनिंग मंत्र इज डिफरेंट फ्रॉम नाम रूप मीनिंग the bhutakasha also entire prapancha which includes bhutakasha that akasha in the opening mantra is different from all of them therefore what therefore akasha means brahma and brahma should not be reinterpreted as bhutakasha but the opening statement word akasha should itself be understood as brahma and what about this adi pada adi na adi pade na ब्रह्मत्वेन ब्रह्मत्वपदेशात आकाशस्य से अर्थांतर किम तत् अर्थांतर दैट अर्थांतर इज ब्रह्मत्व दैट इज आदि अर्थांतर इज डिफरेंट मीनिंग एंड व्हाट इज द डिफरेंट मीनिंग दैट इज बाय आदि पद एज ब्रह्म इट इज ऑल्सो डिस्कस्ड एज ब्रह्म सो दिस इज दूत्र अत्र पूर्वपक्षे भूताकाशात्मक ब्रह्मोपास्या क्रम मुक्ति पूर्वपक्षी सेज इट इज एन उपासन कांड वेर आकाश विच इज वॉट भूताकाश दैट आकाश विच इज बाय स्वरूप भूताकाश शुड बी सीन एज ब्रह्म सो दि ब्रह्म वर्ड दैट फॉलोज शुड बी री इंटरप्रिटेड एज आकाश और लिटरली इट मीन्स आकाश बट वॉट शुड यू डू यू शुड एट दि मोस्ट वॉट यू कैन डू इज यू कैन डू उपासन एज ब्रह्म सो इधर यू टेक the meaning of akash brahma as akasha or what you do is you do upasana of on akasha as brahma and then what will happen you will get krama mukti this is the purva paksha siddhanti se siddhante brahma diya mukti riti phala bheda siddhanti says that it is not upasana kanda at all it is jnana kanda the akasha which is brahma should be known as paramatma as the brahma sutra in the beginning itself said as jagat karana that jagat karana which is different from nama roopa called as akasha is paramatma and with that brahma dhi seeing this entire prapancha manifest as brahma with aikya one without a second that brahma is you and through that brahmadhi there is brahma buddhi brahma drishti there is mukti hi iti phala bheda this is the difference between puro paksha and siddhanta chhando ge shruyate what is the vishaya mantra akash vai nama akash vai nama nama roopayor nirvahita so akasha is what akasha is uh, let me just cross check there is nama nama roopaya akash vai nama nama means uh, what is akasha so well, that is the word nama nama here is the first nama is an avyaya to mean what is what this akasha is so it has this meaning like you know there's a style that uh, akasho ityukte so uh, so the, that kind of a meaning is there in this nama and akasho vai nama is what nama roopayo nirvahita it is that which uh, you know it, it is different from nama roopa and it does pratipadana nirvaita it is it does pratipadana the pratipadaka of nama roopa manifest nama roopa akasha cannot manifest akasha itself which is part of nama roopa therefore it is different from akasha bhuta akasha and that different akasha is brahma paramatma ityadi tatra kim akasha shabdito bhuta akasha uta paramatma iti vishaye samshaye when there is a doubt born as to whether that akash shabda means literally bhutakasha one among pancha mahabhutas or parmatma their bhutakasha is the purva paksha iti purva paksha siddhantastu parmatma eva akash shabdita akash shabdena shabdita akash shabdita is akashena shabdita is parmatma what is meant by akasha shabda is parmatma alone why kasma what is the reason arthantaratva adi apadesha because of 
saying that this akasha is different how where is it said te yadantara so there is a mantra as to te yadantara iti akashasya nama roopabhyam arthantaratvena vyapadeshat if it is not clear in the earlier mantra as to akasha vai nama nama roopayor nirvahita as to akasha being different from nama roopa because akasha shabda is not there in nama roopa if at all such doubt is there the chandogya shruti itself clears how so by saying te yadantara te nama roope te nama roope ye nama because te is what tatte tani te is dvivachana te nama roope te nama roope what yadantara yad yadantara is yasya akashasya akashantara yasya akashasya brahmana antara antara is madhye these nama roopas are within akasha within yat what is that yat yat is akasha while te means nama roope this nama roopas are within yat within what akasha madhye antara means madhye they are within akasha so karya is within karana thereby akasha is karana of these nama roopa and therefore it is different from nama roopa so when it manifests nama roopa it manifests that which is different from it although it is within it is still different karana is more than the karya karana is always more than the karya it is not and anyway in vedanta there is no real creation there is only manifestation there is only appearance so this brahma appears as akashadi prapancha bhuta bhautika prapancha so te yadantara iti akashasya nama roopabhyam arthantaratvena vyapadesha there is a teaching as to akasha being different from nama roopa adi shabdena tad brahma tad amrutam sa atma iti brahmatvadi vyapadesho drashtavya in the following mantra tad brahma that akasha is brahma itself tad amrutam that akasha is amruta sa atma and that akasha is atma finally atma by saying atma that akasha which is brahma which is amruta he is also manifest as jeevatma as an individual therefore this is this is what brahma ji siddhante brahma jiya mukti hi so there is jeevan mukti there is no krama mukti krama mukti is possible if there is no nishtha uh, achieved in this janma but otherwise krama mukti hi uh, if nishtha is not achieved then krama mukti otherwise jeevan mukti hi so by saying that this akasha brahm is brahma which is in samana adikrana with atma this is aikya teaching of aikya that is the tatpare vishaya of entire shruti iti brahmatvadi vipadesha drashtavya this mantra also has to be included with adi pada so that akasha has been taught as brahma and also as atma so it's a akasha is equal to brahma which is non different from jeevatma this is the teaching and therefore there is no reinterpretation of word brahma but there is only mimamsa on the akasha shabda as brahma purvam nama roopabhyam bhedokte he akasha brahma ityuktam tanna purva pakshi says your interpretation is not right what you are saying is that akasha is different from nama roopa even if it is different from nama roopa how does it end up meaning brahma tan that is not right why he says prajnyena atmana samparishyaptah ityatra abhinne api jeeve bhedopacharat ityakshipya samadhanad akshepa sangatya idamah he says even if there is no difference still words of differences are used like raho shiravat shashti when you say raho ho shiraha the head of rahu rahu itself is the head rahu does not have a body it is only the head does not have a trunk so the word rahu means the head so when you say the head of rahu 
Rahu's head, that apostrophe S, Shakti Sambandha, is not really Sambandha. The word is used like that. Similarly, here Panchami may have been used. The way Shakti is used in Raho Shiraha, showing Sambandha and Sambandha means Sambandha is always between something which is different from the one which has Sambandha. So, between two entities, Sambandha is possible only when there are two. When there are no two, then it is just figurative speech. Similarly, this Bheda with Nama Rupabhyam, Nama Rupabhyam is Panchami Dvivachana and when you say there is difference between Akasha and Nama Rupa, that usage is figurative. This Akasha Shabda need not be different from Bhuta Akasha part of Nama Rupa, it can be one also. Because even in Abhinna, there is Bhinnatva Vyapadesha, there is, there is figurative speech of Bhinnatva. How about that? So, Puram Nama Rupabhyam Bhedokte He, because of this Bhedokte, this is Heta Panchami, Bhedokte He. So, that Bheda Uktihi is the reasoning you are giving, that is the Hetu for Akasha to not mean Bhuta Akasha. And therefore, Akasha Brahma iti uktam tanna. That is not right. Why? Prajnana Atmana Samparishvaktaha. He says, there is a mantra in Vridharnika. In Vrid Upanishad, there is a mantra which says what? Prajnana Atmana Samparishvaktaha. The um, Paramatma, so Atmana, so this can be, you know, in this Tritya is in the form of Prajna. In the form of Prajna, Samparishvaktaha. So this uh, Paramatma that you talk of, Brahma as the meaning of Akasha, and Jiva who goes to sleep here. There, Ichyatra Abhinya Pi Jeeve, this Jeeva who is Abhinna, in that from this Prajna, when Jeeva goes to Shushupti Avastha, this Jeeva is Prajna. So, Prajnina Atmana Samparishvaktaha Iti Ichyatra Abhinya Pi Jeeve Jeeve Bhedo Pacharat. There is Bhedo Pachara. Do you say that this Jeeva is different or one with this Prajna? So the Siddhanti has to say the Jeeva is himself called as Prajna and therefore when you say that Jeeva is Bhinna in usage but is really Abhinna, similarly Akasha is what? Akasha is Abhinna from Bhuta Akasha, this Nama Rupa includes Akasha, Bhuta Akasha alright but this Nama Rupa Bhyam Bhedoktihi of Akasha, Bhuta Akasha is figurative. So he is giving that mantra as example. And thereby, what happens is that um, you need not say that Akasha means Brahma in the Chandogya mantra also. So even if this uh, Jiva in Shushupti becomes one with what? One with Paramatma. Because in this Prajnana Atmana, Prajna is what? Prakarshena Asamanta Nyaha. You cannot say prakar, Prakarshena Ajnyaha, but you have to understand Prakarshena Prapurvaka Apurvaka Jnya Shabda. Ja, uh, Janati iti Jnya. He knows. And you can say Ajnya also how? Because he does not know the Prapancha. In Shushupti Avastha, Ajna, Prakarshena Ajna, because does not know the manifest Prapancha, which is manifest in Swapna Avastha and Jagrada Avastha. Therefore, Ajna also, but also alive to the Swarupa. Therefore, Prakarshena Asamantat Ajna also <coughs> can be seen. And thereby, he, this Jiva who has gone to Shushupti Avastha, 
in the form of prajna he has become one with paramatma but then there is also mention of bheda although one with paramatma there is mention of bheda also therefore abhinya api jive bhedopacharat iti akshipya samadhanat akshepa sangatya idamah so samadhana is given to this akshepa sangati there is an aropa by puro pakshi an objection to the earlier interpretation and thereby the next adhikarana susupyut kranti adhikaranam one who goes to the susupti and wakes up then uh, not wakes up actually utkranti is marana there so susupti and utkranti marana there bheda is talked about between parmatma and jiva now this bheda is figurative but why is it taught if you say that is the tatparya then advaita will be compromised it is not the tatparya it is an anuvada see bheda between parmatma and jiva need not be taught by the shruti it is not the context or it is not the subject matter of shruti why because there are other pramanas for bheda between parmatma and jiva it is already siddha in the world everyone knows right from the child who is born right from the in fact bhagwan bhashyakara somewhere in uh, bradarnika says that this dvaita meaning bheda is not worthy of teaching why because even uh, jat prani knows jat ha yah prani prani that prani any prani any jeeva any jeeva which is born in any sharira knows bheda in fact knows only bheda all sorts of bhedas jeeva parmatma bheda jeeva jeeva bheda jeeva jagat bheda jagat jagat bheda parts of jagat so all bheda is already known to jeeva because of the indriyas being there indriyas are different sharira is different manas is different although not intellectually thought about every jeeva even a prani knows even animals and birds know difference they know difference between prapancha which is a, a part for them to earn their livelihood to hunt for food that is ingrained in the jeeva when it is born to hunt or look for food so all this bheda need not be taught and even if it is taught in the shruti in some way it is only an anuvada it is not the tatparya vishaya shruti is not a pramana in that case therefore when we come to vedanta it should be very clear that only advaita is vedanta there is no other vedanta all vedanta all other vedanta is namesake it has, it has absolutely uh, no meaning because in every other flavor of vedanta so to say some kind of bheda is already there in mukti there is some kind of bheda and whatever little bheda also is there in mukti that will make the shruti as not pramana for that vishaya because it is already known so if the dvaitin claims that ishwara is not known oh ishwara may not be known in that sense but is there a creator to this prapancha one or many for that the shruti may be pramana in dvaita aspect also but still if someone is asked if at all this world is created are you the creator no jeeva will claim to be claim yes to that no jeeva will claim to be creator therefore it is already known it may not be well thought about it may not be at the forefront of the thought but if at all this question is asked to anyone who does not know vedas who has has no not even an iota of knowledge of vedas as to ishwara is revealed in the vedas which is a tatparya vishaya if the dvaiti were to be claiming and you go back to anyone and asks if at all there is a creator whether you agree or not if at all 
there is a creator or there are multiple creators of this prapancha are you the creator or are you one of the creators nobody will claim yes to that question therefore even saying ishwara is revealed by the shruti and that is the tatpare vishaya as to teaching bheda with that ishwara that will also not hold water because that difference is already known and thereby what is known through laukika pramana for that shruti is never going to be a pramana that is pramanatvam or pramanyam of shruti so shruti is pramana only for advaita vishaya there advaita is the vishaya tatpare vishaya सो सधान आक्षेप संगत्यादमा सुषुप्त्युत्क्रांतिकरणम सुषुप्त्युत्क्रांतोर्भेदन सुषुप्त्युत्क्रांतोर्भेदन सो दिस सूत्रार्थ सुषुप्त्युत्क्रांतो पदच्छेद सुषुप्ति उत्क्रांतो इज द्विवचन सुषुप्त्युत्क्रांतो भेदन सो सुषुप्ति उत्क्रांति उत्क्रांति इज मरण इन सुषुप्ति एंड इन उत्क्रांति सप्तमी द्विवचन सुषुप्ति उत्क्रांति हो ड्यूरिंग सुषुप्ति एंड मरण उत्क्रांति भेदेन कस्मा भेदेन शरीरा भेदेन व्यपदेशा एंड वॉट इज दिस भेद दिस भेद इज टॉट ऑल दो देर इज अभेद वॉट इज दि भेद दो देन दिस भेद इज विद दि शरीर and what is the abheda with although there is abheda with brahma still bheda is not taught between brahma and jiva as the puropakshi sees it but bheda is taught between sharira and jiva so bheda is taught between sharira and jiva in shushupti shushupti and marana utkranti so in shushupti is the jiva one with the sharira no he is not इन मरणा इज जीवा वन विद दि शरीर नो हि इज नॉट सो देर इज भेद व्यपदेश वॉट अबउट अभेद अभेद इज ऑलो देर बट दि अभेद इज नॉट विथ शरीर इफ एट ऑल इट इज देर दैट इज मेन्शन इफ एट ऑल इट इज मेन्शन इट इज मेन्शन एज ओनली एन अनुवाद रिपीटेशन विच इज ऑलरेडी नोन फॉर दैट श्रुति इज नॉट प्रमाण सो वॉट इज श्रुति प्रमाण फॉर इट इज फॉर अभेद विथ ब्रह्म so when the shruti says tad akashah brahma tad amrutam sa atma that sa akashah brahma rupa akashah atma there that advaita abheda teaching is what is the tatpare vishaya for which shruti is pramana so if at all bheda is seen by purva pakshi that bheda is not the tatpare vishaya if at all it is mentioned in passing somewhere or as an anuvada it should be seen सो सुषुप्ति उत्क्रांतो हो इन दि अवस्था ऑफ सुषुप्ति एंड उत्क्रांति शरीर भेदेन व्यपदेशा व्यपदेशा दिस व्यपदेशा हेज एन अनुवृत्ति ऑफ दि अर्यर सूत्र इट हेज एन अनुवृत्ति इन टू दि नेक्स्ट फोर्टी सेकेंड सूत्र अत्र पूर्वपक्षे जीवाद कर्मशेष कर्तृस्तुति सो देर पूर्वपक्षी से दिस अभेद विद ब्रह्म दैट इज मेन्शन इट इज ऑल स्तुति ऑफ दि कर्ता इट इज ऑल वॉट अर्थवाद and we have seen in the arthavada do you have any pramana which is opposing that there is no pramana possible because pratyakshadi pramanas cannot objectify brahma therefore if at all there is aikya taught between atma and brahma by saying akasha brahma is nothing but this jeevatma who considers himself as a samsari if at all purva pakshi says this arthavada is of of the type which contradicts viroda there is viroda what viroda is there he says that jeeva is samsari whereas parmatma brahma if at all that is the meaning of akasha that akasha who is brahma roopa akasha parmatma roopa akasha that akasha is asamsari therefore there is viroda 
So we tell him that this virodha is not possible to be known by you because the virodha that you see is from samsaritva of a of jiva which is which is mithya. This samsaritva of jiva is not real. Sapnavat, sapnavat mithya tvam. Just like in sapna, whatever you feel you are, you are not really because when you wake up. All that prapancha sahita sapna drashta goes away. Similarly, this jiva that you find to be samsari is this sapna of samsara. So, if you say it is karta stuti, so that this karta thinks that he is Brahma and then starts doing upasana and karma as taught by the Shruti, that is not true. So, Jeeva Anuvada is all right, but Jeeva Anuvada in a Karma Shesha Kartru Stuti is not right, says the Siddhanti. So, Siddhanti Tadanuvada in Tadanuvada means Jeeva Anuvada is all right. We accept there is an Anuvada of Jeeva Tohava that Jeeva who is a Karta of Karma or Upasaka of Upasana, Karta of Upasana meaning Upasaka, and thereby this Jeeva becomes Karma Shesha, we do not agree. See, Jeeva Anuvana Karma Shesha Kartru Stuti, the Karta is Shesha of the Karma. Meaning what Karta is part of the Karma, whether it is Vaidika Karma or Vaidika Upasana. And thereby, if you praise the Karta, it will become an Arthavada and not literal that Jeeva is Brahma, but the Jeeva is an Upasaka who should look upon himself as Brahma and thereby gain some Adrashta phala. This is the Puro Paksha. So, Stuti is done to inspire this uh, Jeeva in becoming a better Upasaka, better Karmi. That is not true, says the Siddhanti. So, Siddhanti says, yes, Jeeva Anuvada is there. What is this Anuvada? This Jeevatva Bhava which is already known, whereby the Upasaka or the Karmi thinks that he is a Samsari and therefore some Punya has to be gained. The more the merrier kind of punya has to be gained through Vaidika karma and upasana, that is already known. It is taught also in karma kanda that you, jiva who are different from the sharira, are still an individual and you should gain punya through these karmas and upasana. So there is an anuvada. Jivatvam is already known. So, Siddhante Tadanuvadena meaning Jeeva Anuvadena Tat Tadatmya Dhiriti Phala Bheda. This Tat is Brahma. Brahma Tadatmya Dhiriti Phala Bheda. The first Tat is Jeeva. The second Tat here in the second Tamasa is Brahma. So, Tadanuvadena Jeeva Anuvadena Tat Tadatmya Brahma Tadatmya Dhiri. Tat Tadatmya Dhiri Brahma Tadatmya Dhiriti Phala Bheda. There is Tadatmya which is taught which is unknown. But, Jeeva Anuvada is there because it is already known. Jeeva is already known. So, Bheda from Sharira is taught and may or may not be known. So, the Bheda from Sharira is taught. But Bheda from Brahma is already known. Although Brahma is unknown, still, if somebody is asked, then Bheda is known. Because in Tarka, there is an issue. You cannot have Bheda unless the, this Bheda is what? Bheda is uh, it is uh, it's an anyonya bhava so bheda in tarka is anyonya bhava and how do you know uh, so ghataha pato nasti so ghato ghataha ghataha pato nasti pato ghataha ghata nasti ghato nasti so anyonya abhava is there ghata does not have patatvam and pata does not have ghatatvam or in any abhava also, here bheda, but in any abhava also, the uh, so what is the 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 uh, the anuyogi is the adhikarana, but pratiyogi has to be known. When you say the ghata is on bhutala, then anuyogi is bhutala, or actually anuyogi is. Abhava, Swarupa Abhava. 
Swarupena there is Swarupena there is Abhava Ghata in Bhutala. So that Abhava is really Anuyogi but then in Tarka it is also used as Bhutala is the Anuyogi. Similarly Pratiyogi when you talk about any Abhava Pratiyogi should be known. So when you say there is Abhava Abhava also cannot be known unless Ghata is known. Ghata Abhava can be known only when Ghata is known. So Kasya Abhava will be the question. Abhava Asti, Kasya Abhava Asti, Ghata Sya Abhava Asti. So Ghata should be known. Jasya Abhava is Pratiyogi. So Ghata is Pratiyogi of Ghata Abhava. Similarly here if you say that uh, the Paramatma Jiva is different from Paramatma is known. Meaning that Bheda of Jiva from Paramatma is known and therefore is an Anuvada. Who says this? Siddhanti says this. There can be an objection from the Puro Pakshi Dvaitin who will say Paramatma is not known at all. Shastra Re will say therefore for this Dvaita Bheda which is not known Shastra is Pramana. This is an argument of Dvaitins. Dvaitins argue that when we say that your Vedanta is no Vedanta because you do not consider Shruti as Pramana. Shruti is not Pramana for Dvaita. What will they say? They will say Paramatma is revealed. Ishwara who is unknown otherwise is revealed by the Shruti. And for that there is Pramanim of Shruti. So we also consider Shruti as Pramana. We are also Vedantins. But the Bheda from that Paramatma which is not known. Why is it not known? Not known? Because Paramatma is not known. For a Laukika through other Pramanas to know that there is Bheda with Paramatma. Paramatma is Pratiyogi. And that Pratiyogi should be known. How will the Laukika know Paramatma? For that Shruti is the only Pramana. This is the argument Dvaitins give. When we say that you are not taking Shruti as Pramana at all because Shruti is Pramana in unknown Vishya and Advaita is unknown, Dvaita is known. So they will say this Bheda is not known with Paramatma because Paramatma as Pratiyogi is unknown. And without Pratiyogi you cannot have Abhava or Bheda Jnana. Sanyunya Abhava Jnana also cannot be there. You cannot say Ghata is different from Pada unless Pada is known. You cannot say Pata is different from Ghata unless Ghata is known. So to say Jiva is different from Paramatma for that Bheda to be known, Paramatma has to be known which is not known in Laukika through Laukika Pramana. But they are using Tarka where Tarkikas establish Ishwara through Tarka. They say Jagataha Kartasti Kutaha there Tarka is what? Because of what? Prapanchasya ghatat, ghatat vatvat. So, Prapancha is also Prapanchasya Karyatvat Ghatavat. Ghatavat Karyatvam is there in Jagat. Prapancha, Jagat. Is Jagat Karya or not? It is Karya because you see that Prapancha is changing. It has been created. And everything that is created has to have a sentient Karta. Just like Kulala, Kulala Vat. So, Ghatavat, Ghatasya Yata, Kulalaha, Karta Bhavati, Tatha, Jagataha Pi, Karta, Kashchid Bhavati. Somebody is there. Why can't it be many? Tarkika will say, Laghavatvat. Because of simplistic logic, because of Occam's razor, why should you imagine multiple kartas when there can be one karta can solve the problem then why do you need multi multiple kartas and that karta you give any name. So you the karta is also known through Tarka says the Tarkika himself and these Dvaitins are using Tarka. So why do they miss that Tarka? So we will do this Akshepa again saying that from Tarka also Ishwara is established. May not be known as this kind of Ishwara, that kind of Ishwara, but Ishwara as some kind of a karta is there for this prapancha, that much can be known. Whether one or many cannot be known, for that Shruti is Pramana, we will say yes. But whether there is a karta or not, one or multiple kartas, that can be known. You cannot say there is no karta. So with Tarka also you will have to establish that there is one or multiple kartas from that prapancha. Are you that karta? If you ask, then Every Laukika will have to say that I am not that Karta. Therefore, this Veda is also known because Pratiyogi is known. Pratiyogi entirely may not be known. 
idam itham but pratiyogi is known is our answer to such uh, response therefore we'll say that for advaita alone there is pramanyam of shruti we'll always stress on this point because for everything else shruti is either giving an arthavada or anuvada or for swarga also it is for alokika vishaya shruti is pramana but we'll say tatpare vishaya for advaita only in vedanta in jnana kanda only advaita is pramana advaita alone has pramanyam in the vedanta sections everything else is an anuvada or some kind of arthava tad anuvadena tat tadatmi dhiriti phala veda jeeva anuvadena siddhante brahma tadatmyam oneness with brahma saha atma yasya or tat you can say tad so brahma if you take tat tadatmyam if tat you take jeeva itself then jeeva tadatmyam with brahma but if you take brahma then brahma brahmana sa tadatmyam kasya jeevasya so what is that tadatma tadatmyam tadatmana bhava tadatmyam and what is tadatma tadatma is sah atma yasya or tad brahma atma yasya jeevasya tad brahma atma yasya jeevasya sa jeevah tadatma meaning brahma atma tasya bhava tadatmyam change pratyay that is tasya bhava in tasya bhava artha so tat tadatmi brahma tadatmi meaning oneness with brahma and he is buddhi that understanding jnana so tat tadatmi dhi means brahma tadatmi brahma ikya jnanam iti phala bhedah brahadaranike shruyati in brahadaranika upanishad what is heard as a mantra yoyam vijnanamaya praneshu hridyant jyotihi पुरुषः हृद्यंतर्ज्योति पुरुषः इत्यादि सो देयर इज दिस मंत्र एज पुरुष दिस पुरुष इज हु अंतर्ज्योति ही हृदय अंतर्ज्योति वन हु इज देयर एज प्रकाश स्वरूप इन हृदयाकाश इन ईच एंड एवरी प्राणी प्राणेशु इन नॉट इन प्राणी प्राण सो द प्राणेशु यो अयम् विज्ञानमयः विज्ञानमय इसु विद्य विज्ञानमय कोश देर इज तादात्म्य एंड दैट कैन हैपन ओनली विथ बुद्धि विज्ञानमय इज बुद्धि विज्ञान इज बुद्धि देर अंतकरण विच प्लेज ए रोल ऑफ बुद्धि एंड दैट बुद्धि इज फोल्डेड इन सुषुप्ति अवस्था ओनली वेन वन वेक्स अप द बुद्धि वेक्स अप one has tadatma sambandha vidhi buddhi and claims an individuality and therefore becomes vijnana maya so that vijnana maya who is that that vijnana maya who is praneshu hridyantar jyoti swayam jyoti antar jyoti swayam jyoti hi purushah who is also vijnanamaya meaning jiva vijnana is basically jiva so that jiva who is praneshu here praneshu should be taken as different from prana because who is there in prana means he is different from prana so that jiva who is different from prana who is antar jyoti swarupa swayam jyoti swarupa that is purusha That is swayam jyoti hi purusha, antar jyoti hi purusha. So jiva is purusha, antar jyoti purusha ityadi. So this mantra, tat kim jiva nuvadakam uta tadanuvadena asamsari brahma swarupa pratipadakam iti sandehe. When there is a doubt as to whether this purusha which is being discussed uh, is revealed by the shruti, antar jyoti purusha who is vijnanamaya, is this jiva nuvadakam shabda? is this jeevanu vadakam the tatkim the tad vakyam that vakya whether it is it is talking about jeeva who is well known as different from the sharira to vaidikas uta tadanuvadena asamsari brahma swarupa pratipadakam iti sandeh so shruti may just do an anuvada of jeeva and not talk about anything else there is no tatparya vishaya there it may just mention so oh, there is this kind of a jiva who is in shushupti who is swayam jyoti hi who is prakasha swarupa who 
who does not light up anything else do one's own swarupa is veiled there but it is there meaning one knows that i do not know anything else i do not know swapna prapancha any swapna prapancha i do not know any jagrat prapancha one may not say but if you were able to say in shushupti avastha this is what you would say and therefore it is just jeeva anuvadaka saying that swayam jyoti hi antar jyoti hi he remains antar jyoti he does not light up anything else he remains antar jyoti this is this much meaning can be taken as to jeeva anuvadakam uta tad anuvadena asamsari brahma swarupa pratipadakam or whether this vakya brad brad mantra is sorry brad vakya is doing an anuvada of jeeva by saying vijnanamaya who is known elsewhere as vijnanamaya jeeva not brahma vijnanamaya jeeva so jeeva anuvada has been done and having done that what this purusha who is antar jyoti purusha is what who has entered in the sharira as jeeva that brahma paramatma is revealed by the word purusha purishete iti purusha puranat purusha iti va so one who resides in the sharira the city sharira which is equivalent to a city with multiple gates indriyas being karmendriyas and jnanendriyas being various gates therefore it is comparable to a pur meaning a city pur meaning city so puri shayanat purushah one who literally sleeps but then one who resides in the city nine gated city of sharira that is purusha meaning ishwara or puranat purushah puranat means because he makes everything complete without the purusha who is ishwara nothing would be complete makes everything complete meaning gives satta spurti ityadi therefore purushah so it means ishwara paramatma so tadanuvadena jeeva anuvadena asamsari brahma this brahma who has entered paramatma who has entered the sharira as jeeva is not really samsari that brahma is not samsari so asamsari brahma that is the swarupa of this jeeva really and that swarupa is revealed what is the revealer this vakya is the this vakya is the revealer so pratipadakam vakyam iti sandehe when such doubt is there jeeva anuvadakam iti purva paksha it is just mentioning jeeva who is known says the purva paksha there is no other tatparya there that is all the mantra is doing says that vijnanamaya jeeva who is known is different from prana and hridyantar jyoti purusha it is the same purusha who is jeeva well known siddhantastu vijnanamaya shushuptyadyavastha vaj jeevanuvadena brahma bheda pratipadakam idam vakyam but the siddhanti says no it is jnana kanda where aikya is being taught as this vijnanamaya who is there in shushuptyadi avastha so who is this vijnanamaya he is shushuptyadi avastha vat avasthavan so vijnanamaya purusha is shushuptyadi avasthavan he has avasthas of shushupti swapna and jagrat that vijnanamaya who wakes up as individual jeeva is not really an individual because in shushupti he loses his vijnanamaya tvam jeevatva bhava individuality goes for a you know goes for a toss it is not there at all it is folded back and one wakes up in that manner because of samskara avidya not going ajnana still being there in bija avastha so it unfolds back as a samsara vruksha avidya so this jeeva who is known as vidyanamaya in shushupti if you see that there is no other meaning there is no bhed of any kind there is no dvaita of any kind known therefore remains only swayam jyoti but not anyah jyoti does not light up anything else just lights up what actually does light up something else but in bija avastha lighting up avidya is as though not lighting up anything else so karana avidya is lit up but this karya which is prapancha as swapna and jagrat 
prapancha those are not lit up therefore jiva anuvada is to teach that this vijnanamaya who is known as individual jiva is not really an individual at all because in shushupti he becomes one with paramatma avidya veils that knowledge but if you inquire into it you can be free so jivanuvadan brahma abheda is being taught pratipadakam idam vakyam it reveals abheda with brahma of this very jiva who is known as vijnanamaya in waking state and who is a thinker an emotional person with the body a father mother son daughter etc all that is mithya so brahma abheda pratipadakam idam vakyam it is jnana kanda of aikya and it is tatpare vishaya kasmat why प्राज्ञनात्मन संपरिश्वक्त न बाह्यम किंचन वेदनांतर सो दि पूर्वपक्षी इज कोटिंग प्राज्ञनात्मन संपरिश्वक्त वेन यू से दट बिकॉज प्राज्ञन आत्मन संपरिश्वक्त सम्यक परिश्वक्त हु इज प्रेजेंट इन दि फॉर्म ऑफ प्राज्ञा दैट इज ऑल दैट दि पूर्वपक्षी इज कोटिंग बट न बाह्यम किंचन वेदना he knows nothing outside nor inside that who does not know anything inside or outside is not individual individual knows something he is an alpajna who knows something but no kinchane veda how can it be parmatma prajnena atmana anvaruda utsarjan janyati so this parmatma who is He is different. That is being taught. Jiva anuvada is done, and therefore Paramatma is different. The Jiva Vidyanamaya that you know is not one who is in Swarupa Brahma in Shushupti. That Paramatma is different. So one who wakes up as Vidyanamaya is different. How is he different? Not really different. Because of Avidya, he is seen as different. Therefore. uh here utsarjan uh, nyati this is you know he makes a sound and gets up some some kind of discussion is there uh, in that uh, brahad section there he says that this purusha prajnana atmana anvaruda he makes some noise and uh, you know he in fact in marana you can see as in marana the uh, there is some sound when the prana goes away so there is this when prana leaves the sharira there is some so prana is basically what takes away the jivatva bhava in the sharira also so therefore this one who is departing that is different who is that one who is de- departing really so prajnana atmana anvaruda leaving the sharira utsarjanyati he goes away iti shushupti utkrantyor avasthayo ho shariraad bhedena paramatmana prajna shabdena vyapadesha ityartah so the one who is this vijnanamaya who leaves the sharira is actually not one with the sharira this vijnanamaya si buddhi tadatmya sambandha makes a person vijnanamaya so vijnanamaya is really a kosha but with kosha tadatmya sambandha makes a person a samsari makes brahmaatma samsari and this is in the waking state in sushupti one is in swarupa paramatma swarupa and in marana also one goes back to that swarupa because ajnana is not functioning there when one gets the karma phala in various lokas there some kind of a sukshma sharira is there as associated with but otherwise in marana as soon as marana takes place it is it is similar to sushupti avastha one does not know anything it is deep sleep as good as deep sleep and deep sleep is as good as, good as marana whichever works whichever way works we see it in that manner so there is no bheda in in shushupti and marana there is no real bheda because it is pura srishti again there is a jiva bhava in after marana if one continues in samsara again there is jiva bhava in another sharira here it is in the same sharira it is not really same the sharira is changed sharira is continuously undergoing change so there is some change but then there is most parts are same therefore there is continuity but then 
between Shushupti and Marana, there is no real difference. In fact, one Swamiji says that that's why when you go to Shushupti Avastha, you are supposed to take a bath. That's why when we sleep, even in the afternoon, if someone sleeps, then during the uh, before the evening Sandhya, one goes and takes a bath. Why? Because it is like touching the dead body. Hmm. That is the idea when Swamiji said in a context, he says that that is why we take a bath because Shushupti is like Marana Avastha of the Sharira. And there, this Prajnana Atmana, one is different, not knowing anything, but then also knowing this Rupa, Prajnana Atmana Anvaruda Utsarjanyati, iti Shushupti Utkranti or Avastha, in those Shushupti and Utkranti Marana Avastha, Sharira Adbhede, no, Paramatmana, Prajna Shabdhena Yopadesha Ritkyartha, so this Prajna is Paramatma, says the Siddhanti, this is missed by the Puro Pakshi, so the bheda that he is seeing is that sharira, jiva is one with sharira. So when he said, iti abhinya api jive. So when he said abhinya, he didn't mean different from, uh, non-different from paramatma. He meant non-different from sharira. Still there is a difference taught. The jiva is sharira, but he is different from, taught as different from sharira. This is the thinking of Puro Pakshi, but then. We say that Paramatma is different from Jiva is not the teaching. Paramatma is one with Jiva is the teaching and Jiva is different from Sharira is the teaching and they, that Bheda is not figurative. That Bheda is real. This Jiva with Jivatva Bhava sees himself as one with Sharira but there is real Bheda because Sharira is Mithya. Jiva is Jivatva Bhava is Mithya but Jiva is Swarupena Brahma which is not Mithya. And therefore uh, the Shabda that was, so what was the objection? This Brahma iti uktam, Bhedoktehe, Akasha Brahma iti uktam, Tanna, we say that Akasha means Brahma and Bheda is not figurative, it is real Bheda as to Abhinyapi, uh, Bhinna Vyavahara is possible but your example is not right and our interpretation is right. Itascha Brahma Bheda Pratipadakam Idam Vakya Mityaha. Puro Pakshi says, How is this teaching Aikya with Brahma? For this reason also says Siddhanti Patyadi Shabdebhyaha. Patyadi Shabdebhyaha. So Pati Adi Patyadi Shabdebhya. It's a single word, Samasa. Because of the word Pati Adipati Ityadi have been used. So this Brahma is Adipati. Jiva, Jiva Atma, Swarupena Atma is Adipati. So these kind of words are used. And due to these words, so this is a Panchami Bhavachana, Hetav Panchami. The reason is because of Pati Ityadi words have been used. Adipatyadi Shabdebhyaha, Asamsari Brahmatma Pratipadakam Idam Vakyam. This word in Brahad Mantra is revealing Aikya with Brahma, who is Asamsari. And therefore, this jiva is also asamsari. This is the teaching and this is all that it is. There is no upasana ityadi. Says the Siddhanti. So, sarvasya vasi, vashi, sarvasya ishanaha, sarvasya adhipatihi, iti patyadi shabdaha. So, adhipadena, this ishanaha, vashi, these words are there. One who is the driver or influencer of everyone of and everything. Sarvasi Ishana, one who is the overlord of everyone. And Sarvasya Adipati. Adipati is also what? One who rules over. So such words have been used. Iti Patyadi Shabdaha have been used. These kind of words have been used. Pati, Ishana, Vashi, such words have been used. And that is not Samsari. One who is the ruler of Samsari is an Asamsari. Asamsari to Pratipadakaha. These are all Asamsari. Revealers of Asamsarittam of this Adipati or Ishana or Vashi. And that is the Jiva. That is really the Jiva. There in the mantra shown as Atma or Purushaha, Vidyanamaya in Samana Dikranit Purusha is Brahma. Therefore it is teaching Brahma Abheda of Jiva. Sana Sadhuna Karmana Bhuya Nityadeha Samsarittva Nishedakaha. So the Puropakshi says okay Adipati Ishana Vashi. These words can be used in lo loka also they are used. They can be laukika kind of words. 
need not mean a samsari because we see a raja is samsari praja is also samsari so raja is adhipati but he is a samsari similarly these ishana adhipati words can be samsari how can they mean they can mean a samsari how can how can they not mean samsari why should they mean a samsari so the siddhanti se san sadhuna karmana bhuyan does not you know does not get punya with sadhu karma does not grow meaning grow in dharma with punya karma and then the kaniyar also asadhuna with asadhu karma does not become less samsari will grow and you know will lose due to papa will grow with punya and become smaller with papa in dharma his dharmika figure will become bigger or smaller meaning his punya will grow and punya phala will grow with punya karma pap phala will grow with pap karma therefore jiva who is bound with sharira is a samsari but jiva who is free from the sharira and sees oneself as brahma that brahma who is adhipati ishana vashi of what kind who does not grow with sadhu karma and does not deplete with papa karma ityadyaha samsaritva nishedaka ha so samsaritva nisheda is done therefore this adhipati ishana and vashi cannot mean samsari have to mean asamsari only says the siddhanti etad vakyagataha so etad vakyagataha sarvasya vashi sarvasya ishana sarvasya adhipati itti etad vakyagataha samsaritva nishedaka ha these are all samsar nishedaka words how by sana sadhuna karmana bhuyan this is pramana for asamsaritvam of the words vashi ishana and adhipati in the earlier vakya quoted tebhyo asamsari brahmatma pratipadakam idam vakyam iti samanjasam so it is very clear as daylight as to asamsari brahma is asamsari and that asamsari brahma is the meaning of the akasha shabda also and whatever followed in brahad mantra also there also purusha is equated to mean brahma is the meaning given to vidyanamaya jeeva there is no bheda bheda is an anuvada if at all there is but abheda is the real teaching and there is no upasana it is only jnana kanda that is the third pada with the 43rd sutra of the third pada of the first chapter this ends the थर्ड पाद विल सी दि फोर्थ पाद इन दि नेक्स्ट पाठ इति श्री ब्रह्म तत्व प्रकाशिकायां प्रथम अध्यायस्य तृतीय पाद सो तृतीय पाद इज ओवर विल लुक एट दि फोर्थ पाद इन दि नेक्स्ट पाठ सो आम नयन दुखम सिद्धम आदिम अध्यान्त वर्धितम आनंद घनम अपूर्णम आत्मज्योति रूपासमहे नमस्ते धन्यवाद नमस्ते